Thursday night football tomorrow. You got the Minnesota Vikings going into L.A. to take on the Rams. Cooper Cup is back. He's not going to be back for long. He's going to get his ass traded. Uh, give me the Vikings minus two and a half. I, too, traded him on my fantasy team. Interesting stat here if you're a trend person in betting. Uh, teams that have to travel over two time zones, they only win 20% of the time. I think the Vikings are in the 20% here, though. They're going to bounce back, and I hope your parlay hits, Xander. For those who don't know, go watch our parlay picks. Xander's got a good one. Was it plus 1,700? First touchdown score is a hard one to hit, but if it does, the rest of it seems pretty pretty easy. Yeah, but give me the Vikings minus 2.5. I think they win this game easily. The Rams are struggling. I don't care if they got Cooper Cup back. The Rams defense is ass. It is terrible. They have the seventh most yards per play allowed in the league not good for the rams damn uh i'm on board here though with the vikings minus two and a half Xander mentioned it tj hawkinson back i think so he could have come back last week off of pup but it looks like this week is going to be when he comes back that's a big addition vikings cover minus two and a half ready for casey to go Ugh. oh you want it oh my Ugh. god that spread. <laughs> that's spread jesus christ 11 points this is the biggest spread of the week this has gone up since i last looked at it the yeah. titans fucking he suck spread wide open on the titans huh they just sold they got rid of hopkins he was a fucking chief yeah he went to the chiefs of course of course he went to the chiefs their offense stunk before and it's not gonna be pretty for them in detroit this weekend do the titans score a single point yes they score a single point do they score more than 10 i don't think they do I don't know that they score a touchdown i don't know if they score a touchdown a yeah. ball in there. even though it's a huge spread i'd still take the lions minus 11 i am right there with you the titans just lost their only weapon that they had left the lions are arguably the best team in the nfc over under uh, max crosby ends up in detroit is you mean yes or no yeah, so over yes <laughs> under no <laughs> I'm going to go with no. If I'm Detroit, though, I don't think there's anyone in the NFC that I would say is better than Detroit right now. I agree. You should do whatever it takes to get someone to replace Hutch. And if you can somehow get Max Crosby, that makes you Super Bowl contenders right away. Give him your first round pick next year. I would do give it. Give him the next two. I would do it. There's no risk with with Max Crosby. You're drafting potential. You give up two picks to get a sure thing. And then next year, you have both of them. Max Crosby and Aiden Hutchinson. That is... What do you do? You it, can't double either of them. Detroit deserves it. I like how gritty that team is it's a, it's an easy team to root for nothing's gonna be rolling offensively for the titans here also the lions have one of the best run defenses in the league and that's all the titans can do they can't throw the ball so lions big i'm gonna i'm gonna roll with the minus 11 i like the lions big here at home realistically i think the lions could drop 50 on the titans it's very possible i don't know if they'll have to though like it'll be i think they're gonna get out ahead pretty quickly so i don't think they're gonna have to i just don't think the titans can score to where detroit's gonna have starters in in the fourth quarter here's the other thing i don't think the offense is the only one gonna be doing the score Scoring. I think the Lions defense might get a score. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody was at minus 11 there. Taking the Lions yeah. to cover that spread. Yeah. As a Colts fan, I love to see it. They are screwed. 